Next up is a, a Tomer from Simply. I think it's a little different. This is much more on the IT side of healthcare IT. And he's going to be talking about an issue I think you guys all deal with um, every day, or at least once a month. I, um, I first got to know Tomer and his team uh, actually from my days at AOL when I was investing in companies strategic to AOL. We invested in this company called Deal Time. It was an Israeli company that was focused on comparison shopping. Uh, aggregating all this information from the web about plasma TVs, helping to present you with a price, a shipping, a tax that would let you make a purchase decision. And I think you'll find what Tomer and his team has done is taken a lot of those same disciplines and applied them to the um, really enjoyable space of parents' health care building. So right. anyway, Thank you, Jay. I'm very excited to be here. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, I would start by maybe uh, asking a couple of questions, all of you, so you can just raise your hand. I'm assuming everyone here is a healthcare professional, so you're supposed to know healthcare. How many of you understand your medical needs? <laughs> all right. How many of you would like to understand your medical needs? <laughs> all right, then if you saw that, an easy question, because maybe 10 years ago, you wouldn't really care about that, because your insurance company covered everything. Today, there's this huge trend for consumer driven healthcare, which increases the deductible of what we pay before the insurance company even kicks in. So, maybe 10 years ago, 100 bucks, not a big deal. Now, the average family spends almost $40,000 on top of paying for insurance. So, really, not understanding where your money is going and why is not a good place to be, and that's kind of where we're coming in. I'll ask you a couple more questions. How many of you would like to pay your bills? 24-7, online, or on your mobile phone. Remember, I'm, I'm talking about uh, changing a connection and an agency letter, calling a representative and having a 10-minute conversation. These are really unpleasant experiences. And, and another question, how many of you would like, when you go to the doctor and he tells you that you need to do X or Y, how many of you would like to know how much it would cost you up front? All right, so pretty common request in any other industry. Healthcare is kind of very different. And maybe last question that, that I would ask you, because I'm putting back your professional hat, and I'm guessing the Mayo Clinic is a very uh, respectful organization, at the top of innovation. I'm, I'm sure you're getting to know a lot of companies and vendors that are trying to uh, pitch you and, and, and sell you different products. Would you think it's a, it would be a good deal for you to get something that will improve the experience for your patients and you actually don't need to pay for that? You're actually going to make money out of that? You think it's a good deal? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, let me tell you a little bit about how we, uh, we do that. Uh, so again, the, the, the trend that changes the market and makes it very relevant is consumer driven healthcare. And it's not only a nightmare for patients, it's also a, a bigger and bigger problem for the CFO office. Because 10 years ago, most of the money that a provider would collect would come from the government or the insurance companies. And because of consumer-driven healthcare, more and more money needs to come from patients. Now patients are confused. They're not quick to open the wallets and make a payment. And that's kind of part of the problem. So we, we kind of recognize the ecosystem that really needs disruption from the way that things work today. Um, Started, and we're very, uh, you know, our, our uh, DNA or our experience is not from the healthcare space, uh, but with our experience in e-commerce and really understanding how to engage and interact with consumers, we first of all said we gotta build this one-stop shop for medical people. We gotta find a radically different approach and very quickly put people on it and figure out whether it makes sense for them or not. So we built our uh, simply product, 
what we call simply wallet that basically allows any patient to connect to connect all of their insurance accounts into our platform and instantly you get access to your historical consumption. So you're moving from a black box into really a great visibility. How much money you spend, how much the insurance company covers, what's your deductible status, how much money you have in your HSA. Really connecting all the dots. And in addition to that, because we have access to your data, we call you every time you have a new bill. At the right time, after the insurance company determine how much you need to pay, we invite you and we represent the bill in a radically different way. And we call it interactive beautiful bill. Some people think I'm crazy to think about medical bills as beautiful, but that, that's that we stick to it. We really need to make it look different so people can finally understand that. And we made the decision that not only that we're gonna call you and allow you to understand the bill and track it, we gotta give you an option to actually pay your bills, to close the loop end to end. And in some sense, you can make payments in the same way that you buy things on Amazon. And you like doing that because you can practically buy anything through a, a website that you trust and your credit card is there and you uh, know what to expect. So it's kind of the same. And uh, we've seen tremendous results with putting simply out there for patients. And what do I mean by that? So the average uh, simply user, there's a zero that went down, but they pay over $1,600 every year using Simply. They're paying your medical bills, your application. They visit our application more than 15 times a year. And maybe the most remarkable data point is 85% of the people that they try Simply stay loyal and use us on an ongoing basis. And these are remarkable results for any application, in any vertical. And healthcare is just much more uh, hard to uh, penetrate because let's face it, we all want to be happy and healthy and, and do not deal with healthcare as a whole. So there's just an inherent wall of avoidance that people don't want to deal with it. So to get to 85% loyalty, it's really great. And that got us to the point that we said, all right, we've got the secret sauce. Now it's time to go to providers and say, we've got a solution for you guys. And when we look at a provider's market, We've seen a tremendous opportunity. On the one hand, major collection issues. More than 70, $65 billion every year is written off as bad debt. People not making payments. But what's important and interesting is McKinsey showed that actually the majority of people are willing and able to pay. So it's not about the money goes away because people don't want to pay, don't have the money. It's a lot about that confusion and broken experience. And if you solve, you can actually bring it back and start collecting that money. The average bill, according to HFMA, costs $10 to try and collect that from patients. And, and it's not a surprise when you think about online adoption, it's less than 2%. Less than 2% pay their medical bills online. Everyone else, phone calls, checks, collection agencies, you name it. So there's a lot of room for improvement. And last but not least, patient satisfaction is another great <coughs> selling point for us. Because patient satisfaction is an increasing priority for more and more providers, especially with uh, the new healthcare reform. Uh, uh, and we don't think that billing is the most important thing, but it's definitely one that gets patient frustrated. And Becker showed really re remarkable data. The difference between a satisfied billing experience would result in 10x more likelihood of a patient to recommend a provider than a dissatisfied billing experience. So what we're telling providers is don't think that it's all just about the clinical service you give them. Billing is part of it. At the end of the day, the bills are coming from you and when they get frustrated and they call you or when they get a letter from a collection agency, you think about you as a provider, so solving that will actually help you. So we said, okay, this is a really great opportunity, and we've developed SimplyPay, which is a, a, a B2B platform where we're basically becoming the patient billing and payment solution for uh, large medical providers. And what do I mean by that? And I want to give you at least some nuggets of the key aspects, the key value that we bring to the table. So first of all, we create 
again, that interactive beautiful bill. So that looks radically different, I would argue, from an invoice or an exp explanation of benefit that you get from the insurance company. It's got a very clear uh, orientation, the date, the name of the patient, the, the fact that it was processed by the insur insurance company. We show the different services. We can even allow the patient to interact with them, because maybe he's done five different lab results, so we bucket them together and you click to see the different services. We differentiate between the insurance portion and the patient portion. And most importantly, and that's why I started simply, <coughs> I had a horrifying vacation with my wife and kids, and we got all those bills, and we couldn't figure out why the hell do we need to pay X versus Y. And we had to kind of combine the EOB paper with the invoice paper. We integrate the EOB into the invoice so that the patient can see that the $48 that they need to pay is part of their deductible, and even they can see their deductible bar, so they see it's the first time they're paying. So kind of connecting all the dots together and allowing the patient to make a payment. And by the way, this beautiful bill is the 10th iteration that we've done. Because it's not about thinking that we know what people will understand. It's about bringing them to our office, seeing whether they understand or not, looking at different data points, doing A-B testing. So we put a lot of the best practices from e-commerce into healthcare to make that effective. So that's one aspect. Just making the bill something that you guys can read and understand. Number two, we've created an eligibility and cost estimation engine for the providers. We're basically combining the patient information, the insurance company, the plan <coughs> details, and their car deductible status with the master file that the provider has with all the different prices that they have for the different procedures with the different insurance companies. We have a technology that merges them together and basically create the same interactive beautiful bill even before it went to the insurance. And why is that important? Think about better collection and happier patient. You guys all said you would love to know how much something would cost you at the point of service. So you get a great service. And also, the provider now has the justification to potentially take some of the money up front. Because today, why would I pay the provider up front? I don't think he's going to steal money from me, but he doesn't know how much I'm going to be charged, so why would I give him money? And even if he says, well, it's a thousand, so pay us a hundred bucks, you get the, the, the feeling that you're going to spend a lot of time chasing different uh, entities to figure out the bills. With our approach, it changes that. You give them the visibility, and then it gives the hospital the trigger to say, all right, now you've got a new policy. We take 10% up front. And the minute the bill is finalized, you're going to get an email that will invite you to the same place, will show you how much you paid up front, and will let you just finalize the bill very quickly. So those are the type of things that we uh, bring to the table. Another important aspect of why people don't pay in a self-service <laughs> mode, don't pay online, is because basically the hospital sends like three letters. Cost them like a buck every time, and because it costs a lot of money, they do it maybe three times, four times on the course of 90 days. We give them an engagement platform using their emails and their mobile phones. We send you a reminder as a patient to let you know that you have a bill to pay. And it's not only one email, it's a thank you email when you leave the hospital. It's a the bill is ready for you when the time comes. It's a reminder, it's a second reminder. It's uh, a pre-collection email that tells you you got to pay before it goes to a collection agency. Our charter client even adds to the pre-collection email uh, a 5% discount incentive to get the patient to pay instead of uh, dealing with a collection agency. And we provide that platform uh, uh, for our hospital clients. Of course, we allow patients to pay online and to uh, pay uh, on their mobile phone and the same beautiful interactive bill has a representation on, on the online screen and also on your mobile phone. It looks different. It's optimized for a, a mobile experience. Another important part uh, is a payment plan. So I came from eBay. eBay acquired a company called Bimulator that gives people a chance to pay uh, uh, for an item over time. The average bill on eBay is 50 bucks. The average bill on Simply is $150. With our charter client, El Camino Hospital, a local hospital in uh, Northern California, 400 bucks. That's the average. How many people can just pay all of that up front? So what do they do today? 
Some of them call the hospital and ask potentially to pay overtime. We're delivering a payment plan, an automatic payment plan, for the patients to activate by themselves, just like you can do it on your Amex uh, account. And of course, the hospital gives us the, the customization, what's the minimum bill, and so on and so forth. And we give the staff the same ability to make that easy. So that's another part of how do we get a convenient feature for patients and better collection for the hospital. Uh, and, uh, uh, and I want to show you that it's not only, it doesn't only look good and it sounds good, but we actually have the proof points to show that we can deliver that promise. So our chartered client, back in November, less than 2% online adoption of payments. And you can think, well, maybe it's, a, it's somewhere that people are just not uh, uh, technically savvy and don't use online. It's the middle of Silicon Valley, less than 2%. Four months after we started, 10x, 20% of their patients are paying in a self-service fashion, and this trend continues to go uh, up. So doing the right thing for the patient can definitely move the needle in a, in a uh, significant way for the provider, both in terms of getting those 20% of people to have a satisfied experience and also for the hospital to reduce their cost. And I'll just share with you, you know, don't mind the data, it's just to show you that we've really done our homework and made a fancy model. But El Camino Hospital, through that 20% jump, is going to save almost a quarter million dollars a year. Only with 20%. If that's going to go up, it's going to go up even more. Uh, uh, so again, we really deliver the promise of a great experience for patients, and it's just fun itself and allow the hospital to do more. <coughs> Thank you. Thanks.